Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys how to downgrade your iOS 16 device back to iOS 15. If you have updated to iOS 16 beta and for any reason like battery life or performance or all the bugs of course of a new beta software you want to downgrade then this is the proper method you should use to downgrade your device back to iOS 15 and all that of course without losing any of your data now before we get into all that and i will show you guys every single step you need to follow please if you haven't already make sure you subscribe to the channel because that really really helps out a lot and now let's get started with the first step all right, so the first thing you want to do is head on to your settings, to your profile, go to iCloud and make sure you have backed up your device. So if you don't have iCloud backup turned on, you can turn it on from here and just do a backup of your device just in case something goes wrong. Even though it's very unlikely that this will go wrong, go ahead and enable iCloud backup and make sure your device is backed up. The next thing you want to do is head on to your settings, go to general, and right here you will have transfer or reset iPhone. Now what you will need to do here is to reset all the settings of your device because the settings of iOS 16 might actually not work that good with iOS 15 and you might have problems like maybe with widgets or something like that. So just in case, make sure you go ahead and reset all of your settings from here. Just remember that every setting that you have configured on your device will be reset to their factory default. Now you can do that by tapping the reset button. So make sure you tap right here, reset all settings. So you're good to go. You enter your passcode and every setting is set to their default. Now, once you have done that, what you need to do next is go to your settings, to your Apple ID, and then go to find my under find my go to under find my iPhone and make sure you have find my iPhone turned off. If you don't have it, turn it off from here. Now that you have turned off find my iPhone on your iPhone, you will need to head on to your computer. Once you move on to your computer, of course, you connect your iPhone to your computer and these are some really important steps, so you need to follow them very, very carefully. First of all, if you're on Mac, you use, of course, Finder and you have your iPhone right here. If you're on Windows, you use iTunes, find your iPhone and, of course, you will need to back it up. Make sure you do this step. This is really, really important because all of our data will be here. So you will have the backup now button right here. Make sure you tap it and all of your data are backed up to your computer. Once you're doing that, make sure that you go to Safari and open this link, which I will leave linked right down below in the description of the video and download the IPSW file for your iPhone. So select iPhone here and find the model of your iPhone that you have and then you will find the IPSW file right here. So the latest is iOS 15.5. You tap on it and from here, just tap download and wait for the download process to finish. And once you're also finished up back, backing up your device, then you're good to go. Now, once you have backed up your device, and you have downloaded the IPSW file, what you can do now is restore your iPhone. Now here's how this works. What you wanna do is if you're on Mac, tap and hold the option key. If you're on Windows, tap and hold the shift key. And then while holding the key, tap on restore iPhone. From here, it will allow you to browse your computer and find the IPSW file you just downloaded. So make sure you find it. So here we have the IPSW file, tap on it and click open. And now it will restore our iPhone. You can see what it says right here. Mac will erase and restore your iPhone to iOS 15.5 and will verify with Apple. So you tap on restore here and it will start doing the process. So this is all you need to do for now. Wait for the restore process to finish. As you can see, now the device has been restored back to iOS 15. Now what you need to do here is set up your device, just like you would normally do with a new device. And make sure you have this set up as a new device, not from the backup, because we need to modify the backup a bit in order for the iOS 16 backup to work on iOS 15. So let's just go through the steps here real quick. Now, once you get to this step, what you need to do is just tap here on don't transfer apps and data Enter, of course, your Apple ID here. Once you have entered your Apple ID, it will go here for a few seconds. And of course, now you have set up your device as a new device on iOS 15. Now, once this process is done here and you're back into your device, what you need to do is head on back to your computer. That's where we need to modify a bit 
the backup from iOS 16 in order to make it work with iOS 15 and of course restore all of our data back to our device. So let's just go ahead and continue here. And here we are, it's done now, and we're back here with iOS 15. And as you can see, it is restored back to iOS 15 with nothing on it. Now let's head on back to the computer and restore the backup that we did on iOS 16. When you go to your computer and you connect your iPhone, this is what you will see. Now make sure you switch here to set up as new device. Don't restore from the backup, set up as new device. And then tap on continue right here. And there we are. Here we have manage backups. Tap on manage backups and here we'll have the backup that you did of your device on iOS 16. What you need to do now is tap here and tap show in finder go ahead and open the folder and just scroll all the way down until you see info p list now tap to open it you can open it of course with a text editor it's pretty simple and then go for command f so you find product version you can do this on mac i believe it's shift f on windows devices so just go ahead and search for product version Now, once you find product version, you will see right here, it says 16.0. That's the version, of course, of iOS. All you have to do here is just tap with the cursor behind the six and switch it to five. Make sure you save this and now you're good to go. What you need to do here is head on back to iTunes and now you will have the restore backup option. Now, if you don't see this option, if this is just grayed out, there is a possibility that your device has changed the name. So if right here in my case is iPhone B, when I restored it, if it has changed the name of the device, this might be grayed out. So just disconnect your iPhone change the name the way it was before and connect your iPhone before. Now, what we can do here now is just tap on restore backup. Here we have the backup from yesterday and just tap on restore. And of course, go ahead and wait for the restore to finish. Now, here we are now, the restore is in progress. It's almost finished now. Now, this of course will take a few minutes. That will be based on how big the backup that you have done is. Mine here was at 120 gigs. So it will take a few moments for the, all the data to be restored back onto the iPhone. I will get back to you guys once this is done. So there it is now, the restore has been finished, the device is rebooting right now, so wait for the reboot here to finish and now you're good to go. You have everything back on your device and of course you have iOS 15. So let's just wait for this to finish right here. And here we are now, the device has been rebooted, we're back on iOS 15 and of course all of our data are here, so let's just set these up later. Let's enter the, the Apple ID real quick. And here we are back on our iPhone here with all the data. We're back on iOS 15. As you can see, the apps will now start downloading. We have the same setup and everything here. It's really, really good. So this is how you can just restore from iOS 16 back to iOS 15 without losing any of your data. These are the proper steps that you need to make sure you follow in order to do this properly. So make sure you follow the video, follow every step, do it correctly, and you will have no problem getting back from iOS 16 to iOS 15. So that's it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you on the next one.